Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki. On Monday, February 11th, I got up early as I usually do and turned on the TV. And as I did my usual daily routine of stretching exercises, I saw pictures of Pope Benedict and the words breaking news across the screen. And all I could think of was, oh no, he's died. Then I heard that he had resigned and I was shocked. After all, this isn't something that's happened for almost 600 years. Today is Pope Benedict's last official day in office, and I'd like to offer a special prayer for him as we listen to what he said at his first general audience after his announcement. As you know, I have decided to renounce the ministry which the Lord entrusted to me on April 19, 2005. I have done this in full freedom for the good of the Church after much prayer and having examined my conscience before God, knowing full well the seriousness of this act, but also realizing that I am no longer able to carry out the Petrine ministry with the strength which it demands, I am strengthened and reassured by the certainty that the Church is Christ's, who will never leave her without His guidance and care. I thank all of you for the love and for the prayers with which you have accompanied me. In these days, which have not been easy for me, I have felt almost physically the power of prayer. Your prayers, which the love of the Church has given me, continue to pray for me, for the Church, and for the future Pope. The Lord will guide us. And so, let us pray as Pope Benedict asked. Lord, we thank you for the life and vocation of Pope Benedict XVI. May he continue to feel the power of our prayers for him, and may your Holy Spirit prepare the man who will become our next Pope. Amen.